is architecture art? Or is it function? You know, it's something we struggle with all the time. And where do you find that balance? I really do feel a responsibility to the art, but I don't think the art is something that is really intangible anymore. I mean, I think the art part of it is making spaces for people. When I design, I think about moving through the building moving through the spaces first and foremost. I think about what it's like to be there. I think about the light. I think about the materials and how they affect you. I think about kind of the volume of space and, and what impact that has as you move through it. So for me personally, it's a spatial experience that I kind of assemble in my mind and then a form sort of builds around that. So I tend to think of views, looking out, things impacting all around you. So it's almost like a person moving and what's the environment around that person. And ultimately, it manifests itself into a form that's a result of that experience. We do a little bit of, um, of following conventions in the profession, but also we have a bit of a commando style too, I guess you could call it that. I like to call it working in a parallel universe. Um, there are certain things you have to do, you have to meet budgets, you have to meet schedules, and you have to meet other kind of pragmatic issues, but at the same time you can work outside that realm, and, and that's really what we try to do is work like an artist. And, and bring those uh, other paradigms into the art world as opposed to the other way around. You know, a lot of people might look at the building as a very technical science, which in fact it is, and then bringing art into it. We like to think of ourselves as an artist that brings the technology of architecture and building science into art. Architecture is a good term for that. I have a real passion for making better communities and I have a passion for building with the environment. And um, I would say that I carry that torch in the firm. So we don't hold design with any more weight than we do um, environmental concerns, and we don't hold environmental concerns, we don't give it more weight than design, because both are equally important. Um, in the past, design hasn't really been a part of public housing in this country, and that was something that um, I in particular was felt very strongly about. Design is actually um, a part of the healing process for people who have been previously homeless. Everyone deserves good design. If people don't want to live in a building, even though it's a net zero building, it's not a good building. When I became an architect, I wanted to help a lot of people. I didn't want to help a singular person. And um, 
when I graduated from architecture school, I realized that it would take some work to start to help a lot of people and how to figure out how to do that. We do do a, a lot of public buildings and structures and you know one would think that it's less personal and the aspect of that is like you know public gets more abuse public doesn't care but in fact I believe the opposite you actually reach more people and it has a more profound impact on even more people in the public realm so for us you know a lot of times when you're doing private projects our clients really understand the art making of it but the general public you know may not and so to have an impact on the general public really um, can make profound change or have uh, impact on people they may not understand what you're doing but it affects them in a way that that has um, a profound impact on them. It's, it's like a floating three-dimensional puzzle and it's part art, part technical solving of problems and putting all those paradigms together. So I think about it primarily as art, but there's always kind of a floating theme going in my subconscious that says, okay, how do we do this? How do we get it built? Larry can come up with some crazy ideas. That's what he does. Uh, how much does it cost? How do those paradigms all fit into kind of the puzzle, but really, I try to practice more like a sculptor or an artist than, than an architect that just solves problems. It, it would be easy and really boring to go with the flow. I always look around me. In fact, what I try to do more than that is look in front of me. I try to see things that people don't see. You know, when someone looks at a pencil, they might look at something to draw with. I look at the possibility of how that can become an interesting building or form. You know, I look at ping pong balls and people think of how you play with them. I look at how light can broadcast through it. So I'm constantly trying to look right in front of my face and uncover what's already there and see it in, in new ways or uncover the possibilities of things we take for granted. creativity comes in so many forms.